Hey guys, so as you can see it's January 13th and I am getting ready to film a video that I have been holding off on honestly um, since November. So let me get you over to the table. phone over here because every time I start the phone rings all right so let me show you these boxes so yes half of the stuff is still in this box but the other box is on the table the stuff so I'm going to start with that and then I'll show you what's in this box um, early November we received two generous donations of curriculum and guys I was just so taken by these do this donation it was just like wow um, they came on different days and I did not realize that there was another package um, I think the first stuff the stuff on the table is what came first and I was I mean the kids were you know they were so excited with that and then the next box came the next day and I was like whoa wait a minute so yeah all right well, let me get started there was this um, DVD in here not really too sure I hadn't heard of it but nonetheless um, I will look at it and if it's workable there's a lesson in in it. Cynical, reminds us in cynical times the power of prayer and potential for good. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Um, let me go this way with this because it's just stacks and stacks. Okay. So first up we have matter and motion in God's universe a Becca a lot of a Becca which we are just I enjoy some of the Becca I mean I know it is um, Christian based but I know how to you know tailor and cut so um, yeah But, um, so grateful for that. And then we have a high school physics book. And I'm trying to find the, um, the grade level on it. I know I looked through it. I think it is like 11th, 12th grade. Yeah. Because that's usually when they do physics. But, and then we have a geometry. And I enjoy using textbooks. Um, I'm not, you know, school textbooks. Even though they may be older, there's still lots of uh, useful information out of here. Math is math. It doesn't change. We don't do Common Core, so I don't have to okay. stick with anybody's standards, and it's a help. I mean, if it doesn't directly help me teach the kids, the kids can uh, incorporate themselves. So, next up, let me come around here is another textbook. We have a pre-calculus. So, lots of upper level, which we needed for the teens. So, more calculus. But, um, yeah. All right. And there is that. All right. Let me bring you to this huge stack. This is a series of reference books by T 
time life okay we have historic India the information and the pictures in here even the little kids were very fascinated by these books even though they are older books the information in them was just really on point and I like them just thorough and complete so we have that one is India this one is age of exploration We have Ancient America. Excuse me, you want to go play? We have Early Japan. Try not to go through each one because there's so many. We have the 20th century. I mean, briefly go through them. And clean. The books are clean. We have classical Greece. Even though they are um, old, they are very clean. And I just dropped that. A minute. We have Renaissance. We have Imperial Rome. We have Barbarian Europe. We have the Reformation. We have Byzantinium. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we have early Islam. I think there's probably about six more. We have ancient Egypt. Do you guys know the kids are really fascinated with Egypt. So looking through here is like candy store to them. <laughs> Awesome. I love that picture. We have ancient China.
we have African kingdoms. I don't know, it's just something about these. It's just enough color, but also just black and white. It keeps it interesting to see art in black and white form. a new stack before they start to fall over almost finished <laughs> with this stack we have imperial rome Civilization. The walls of Babylon. No, Wealth of trade and the farmers. This is showing the cities and sites of the cradle of civilization. It's very cool that they'll be able to relate that on the current map. And we have Age of Faith for the last book in this series. Time reading program is what this was. And I cannot say enough. I mean, like I said, the kids are so excited for these. Um, not just like one encyclopedia with, you know, a paragraph or two on each. They have a whole book. So there's no way they cannot get smart. <laughs> with this I'm just kidding but um yeah you guys get it I mean just that's a whole library in itself okay I try to keep them off the internet as much as possible and that's how we do it so of course they have to cross reference things and I don't mind but for the most part we hit the books and then we have um, learning language arts through literature the gold book and we are always um, in need of literature. We actually have, um, I'm looking at it, but I can't really see it. A couple more of these kids have been using already. So, the big one. There's that. And then we have an introduction to English, English Lit. And this one is a Becca. And then we have biology. Which I am a lover of biology myself. And then we have the um, grammar and writing eight. And then we have, um, let's see, I'm going to do this one first. Oh, fundamentals of Math, the second edition, and this is B.J.U. Bob Jones. Oh. So I like, um... 
Bob Jones curriculum pretty much all of it um, I like the approaches that they that they take it's pretty laid out and that I appreciate that's one that I'm really looking into um, I wouldn't mind actually purchasing possibly <coughs> some of it once the little ones get maybe a uh, third fourth grade level all right and then we have a becca reading which we have been using aesop's fables for young readers so every day we go through because they're really short fables we go through and read the fables and we answer the questions and they work on the word practice so they have been loving this and then we have Noah Webster, A Man Who Loved Words. This is also in a Becca reading book. So, that. Then we have, go this way, Applied General Equilibrium Analysis. Not too sure where we're going with it, but I know I have one that is really interested in this type of thing so this is um, great for him to be able to go through this fell in my hand um, for the little ones we have Saxon which I was very much go tell them to close it leaning towards um, with them so we have the student workbook part one and this is just where they are getting ready to um, start And so we will not, um, these will be reproduced, of course, because the twins both need, um, math. And, of course, if I purchase this curriculum for them both, you can imagine and then have to turn around and do it again and yet again. So we will reproduce, get the most out of it. Here are the, um, these are the, the, um, the cards that go along with it, the fat cards. Then we have, um, to go along with the fundamentals of math, here's the, uh, student activities answer key. I'm dropping pages. Was very grateful to get that because like I said that's my help the older kids all right and then we have the Saxon um, one part two workbook If I'm not mistaken, that is everything on the table. So, I'm getting ready to show you what's in the box. Perhaps I can grab the box without putting the camera down and cutting off the camera. But, we'll see. Well, I would rather set everything up or at least be able to pull it out. Cause this box is heavy let me just put the camera down hold on guys. all right guys um oh, goodness winston churchill the new world so definitely um i think i read that myself we have melting pot dutch treat east drop galore through thug this is a, a phrase and word origins book so just something kind of fun 
but um, interesting at the same time. Slang words and stuff like that. Just to see um, origins and how things have changed over the years. Words. Walking space. So, a book about space. And the story of Project Gemini. So if you guys don't know what that is, um, that's what that is. Then we have this Lobsters Inside Out, a guide to Maine lobsters. Surprisingly, the little ones um, like this book because they're into sea life and stuff like that. So, very interesting for them. Also, a primary Bible reader. This is um, a Becca. So, the Becca Primary Bible, which they are loving. Um, Strong and True, a Christian reading series book D. This is also a Becca. So, that. Then we have I Wish I Had Curly Hair, a good character building story. We have Reading the Numbers, a survival guide to measurement numbers, its sizes and counting it every day. And that's basically what it is. A little reference book. We have a Becca Grammar and Composition Handbook. Let me move over here. So I'm across the table, stretching my back. And that's what that is. Oops. Camera down there. As you can see. Distributed lags. Problems of estimation and formulation. Let's see. And I have been, um, I was going through this myself. I found it quite, quite interesting. So, that's what that is. All right, let me go back to this side of the table before I do that. We have It's Mind Boggling. Um, science and just a little book. Um, was it some brain facts? Things like that. Train your brain. Neuroscience. Just a little fun fact book. So, we have fun phonics, blends, and digraphs. Creative Teaching Press. And there was a tape, but apparently it is missing. But no problem on that. It has some songs in there, you know, phonics, tunes, basically, pluh and slah, bruh, fluh, gluh. So something, a catchy way to teach the kids using phonics. Discovering salmon. Yeah, right up their alley. They're into oceanography and things like that, so. Oh, I look in the camera. <laughs> and adorable wearables. Okay. We teach early concepts, grade pre K to one. It's put out by Scholastic. And mittens month by month month built. Alright guys, my phone is blowing up. So basically things that they can, um, number rings, educational things that they make and wear. So I think this is going to be quite fun for them. And then we have a uh, primary phonics uh, workbook. Six. 
And so this is basically first grade level. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Actually, I don't know. Because it says K. One, two, three, four, five. This is definitely not sixth grade. I don't think. I don't. My sixth graders definitely would um, not do this because it's too easy. So I would say first grade. I have to look it up. Yeah, I have to look that up. That doesn't. It just says six, but I don't think it means sixth grade. Uh, math builders, math skill builders, two grades two and three. I think we have some more of these. I found at the thrift store. So we definitely can use more um, little things like that. Putting off anger, a biblical study of anger and what is and what to do about it. So Christian Light publication. And of course it's just reading. So I think that's a good um It's a good reference book. We have um, word wall words, and this looks like uh, higher level tricky words. So I am definitely I have not opened it. Obviously, it came like this, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna open this yet. But those are some of the words. This looks like second grade level to me. Yeah, this is a second grade level. It does not specify, but this is what I would give my second grader. I know some first graders may not be able to tackle that, but... Um, then we have grade two phonics. I said with the twins I am always needing um, these things it's you know schooling them is a whole different ball game because I need two of everything and that can get quite expensive especially if I were to do a box curriculum so a lot of their things are in this form um, workbook uh, but only the ones that are very rich not just any workbook so, we are working on vowels now, so I will begin to copy and give them this in addition to the ones that they are already working on. Even though this says second grade, they are doing this just fine. And apparently there's a kinder. There's a grade one, two, three, four. So, and this is too, um, they can do this on their own. I don't really need much help. So. <laughs> and then, I don't know what to go through <laughs> first. I've been through this. Let me do the box first, and then I'll go back to the other pack because there's a lot in that pack. This is, um, if you guys are familiar, preschool, kinder, sing, spell, read, write. That's what this is so excited to get this because I have been looking at it honestly for a while and I just I don't know with just two little ones and they seem to pick up on things quickly I didn't want to just go invest and you know if I found it for a very reasonable eBay ish price like I do then I would have gotten it but I wouldn't have just straight up purchased it because there's only two of them that need it had I this been a couple of years ago, I probably would have just bought the whole thing. So, there's that. Some cards in here already um, cut out for me. Containerized. Here's the strips, the ABC strips, letter clusters, pick a sound. 
and then we have the um the word oh this is a game here is cluster o and all the pieces are already cut out for me but obviously this is not the entire set there are some things missing but like i said i'm not really um you know i'm grateful for this for the little one she is working on um um sounds sounds she knows how to recognize so we're working on sound we're not doing letter of the week but she's working on the sounds that the letters make so this is going to work out just fine and like i said if you're not familiar with it go and check it out it's just a cutesy way to um like a bingo call sound oh get the kids attention because it uses singing and you know whatnot there are also some books that go along with this um set there are cds that are yeah music cds that go along with it because there's you know it associates the um what am i trying to say the concepts with through song in fact, um, <laughs> the Duggars use this for their little ones. So, like I said, grateful to have that portion of that set. All right, we're getting kind of long. This is going to be a long um, video. But here is the rest of that set here. Here's a song placemat some of the um, worksheets here's one of the books total language arts curriculum this is K2 and so we will just use it as we can and what we need and it comes with these readers this is a simple um, my storybook and they're phonics based i'm not going to take out each one but basically that's what they are so put that in there and then i have this is so many pieces let me get it right um god's design for the animal kingdom okay I am so excited to get this because of all of the extra pages that are already copied in here. So I don't have to spend so much time copying things for everybody. You know, once you got copy things four times over, man, you get tired and you, you know, paper and so everything is pr is pretty much in here and it's like three or four copies already. And this is an awesome awesome curriculum. Wells. Guys, check this. Um, check this curriculum out. There's ants key to everything. Oh goodness! <laughs> Kids screaming in there. Um, but these are all pieces that whoever had it. Uh oh, enveloped everything, so I don't have to worry about that, and it's all labeled for me. Um. But the worksheets, it's on the, the crayfish, the snail, the jellyfish, animals with without backbones. So I'm going to take this and put this all in a binder, organize it the way I need to organize it. But it's all, they had multiple children, whoever had this. So God's design for life is what it is. And... I said tons and tons and tons of information <laughs> and uh, reference pages down in there. Let's see if I can pull out some more in the back. This, I said it's just so much. What is an insect? Land vertebrae. Picture, reptile picture cubes. 
There's another one of that page. So I have the, the original from the book because this, this all came from a book. And I have the copies. Let's see. So that's like five, six copies of this right here. So once I really go through it, because I didn't really go through it, separate it, put it in a book, a binder. If I have extras and anybody is interested I may be able to get you some of this just depending on how much of it it is if you're wanting to hold thing or not I don't know but I am willing to share so and then there's some body stuff down in there but <coughs> I said again guys design for the animal king kingdom go google it and that way you can get a feel for really what this is because I know it's hard to tell in this um, in the ziplock and I didn't want to just bind it all because actually that stuff is going to in the box and um, it's getting ready to be packed up that's the reason why it was in the box I never took it out of the box and it took me so long to just show it because I didn't know if I wanted to pull it out now or wait till later and show you guys but anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed this gigantic haul like I said we are ever so grateful bountifully blessed um, to receive this donation it is going to help us tremendously tremendously um, in our homeschool journey because you know, with large large families when you get three four kids things start to uh costs start to multiply but there are lots of ways to do this in a very cost effective manner in fact i'm going to come back and share some things with you guys um you'd be surprised what you can do in the way of um coming across curriculum and material and things for little or nothing so leave me your comments your thoughts if you like to see anything else um isolated let me know let me go get my child she's sleepy guys don't be saying i'm ignoring my baby all right guys bye